So I'm going to talk about laparoscopic version of plasty. Is a very. Uh, this is the area we are creating a space, which are creating the space. What conventionally we used to do is you can see in the second picture. This is the bladder. This is the urethra. This is the rectum. This is the external orifice, and this is the internal pouch of the glass. Now, what conventionally we used to do is in McIndoe technique. Take a graph from uh, take a graph from the thigh. So you need a plastic surgeon. You wrap it on this and. own pick up subsequently and conclusion patient's own peritoneum is used as a graft nemo peritoneum helps in creating new vaginal space easily mobilized peritoneum is used to cover new vagina and minimum post operative care thank you very much for patient hearing i love to interact with you and your questions and i want that you should ask your questions thank you very much for thank you dr pragnesh bhai for wonderful video of newer technique of vaginoplasty previously we were doing most of the times making do operation and we are taking graft and all these things and very long post operative care is required now by this procedure we have shortened the stay and we also get the better results we are very much thankful for this wonderful video uh, hello sir i am uh, postgraduate student calling from kelly university jawaharlal medical college belgaum okay go ahead go ahead Please identify yourself and go ahead with question. Yes, Kolkata. Belgaum. No, Belgaum is the place in Karnataka. Belgaum. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Please okay. go ahead. Delhi University, Belgaum. Sir. Okay, okay. Please sir, I would uh, the new uh, laparoscopic vagina plasty which you have just showed is very beautiful, sir. And uh, would I, like, uh, I would uh, as a postgraduate, I am keen in asking whether there, what are the complications uh, with this procedure. So let me tell you few of the complication in initial one or two surgery. If you are not in a right track, you may injure rectum or bladder. So you know vaginal dissection for vaginoplasty only HOD does. We junior people never get a chance to do vaginoplasty. So let me tell you my, in fact my 18 surgeries in initial two surgeries, three four surgeries I injured bladder and rectum. That's the important thing that you have to remember because we are not well versed with vaginal vaginoplasty and vaginal dissection. So well be very careful. probably you can take a help of your seniors for doing vaginal dissection pedal part and laparoscopic part you can take care number one number two is sometimes you don't get a mobilized peritoneum so instead of mobilizing peritoneum below you have to take a labia minor skin above i think you can understand sometimes you get a mobility of peritoneum and you can uh, pull down um, uh, peritoneum right at lower level at labia minor level but sometimes if it is difficult now what exactly we do in vcit vcit what we do is it is the labia minor skin is pulled up okay. with the you know this kind of a um, uh, something being put in at the bead bean is put in near the vagina and it is pulled with the you know suture material above and gradually gradually you know vagina is created is such a painful condition let me tell you i tried once and that is why i'm saying so you are taking both advantage you may pull down peritoneum down or you can take labia minor skin up that is what we do in vcit so yeah. either of this you can do combination these are the problem if you don't get a mobile peritoneum if you are difficulty in mobilizing peritoneum we are we are having pune online can you put the pune online please pune please go ahead with a question hello yes? i am from pune mm -hmm. uh doctor what about a follow up how frequently you call them and whether you advise them to keep some mold latron so that the vagina should remain patent or there is no need to keep anything there inside so let me tell you in post operative care we ask the patient to cup initially every 7 days means you discharge within 24 hours after 24 hours then you call the patient at third day fourth day and then every 7 weeks for one month and then every monthly unless she had any problem let me tell you when you use syringe sometimes it's painful so instead of that they can use something called uh, you know um, softer kind of a mold that may not hurt or may not you know produce a pain so there are different molds available you know kind of a already vaginal dilators also available so you can use softer kind of mold if patient is having a pain and she has to continue putting this mold till she start sexual function with her husband so you can plan vaginoplasty 4 weeks 1 month prior to her marriage and what she should you should tell her that she can continue sexual function after 1 month or 
if she doesn't get a husband then she has to continue putting a mold till she gets a husband and she starts doing sexual function after marriage there is one uh, just we want to know about the uh, how early she can do uh, sexual intercourse as i said within 4 weeks she, she can start sexual function if it's not possible she is difficulty in getting partner then she should continue putting mole every night that's all till she start sexual function otherwise it will collapse it will sh uh, shrink i think your contention of asking this question is that in any Once. of the major surgeries we are always advised to uh, wait for 6 weeks at least but here dr pragnesh bhai is is very sure that after 4 weeks you can advise the patient for a regular sexual intercourse there is another center on the line please can you go on with your question please uh, if there is a hypoplastic uterus or very small uterus or normal uterus even then is it possible to do the peritoneal grafting this way so madam as i have said uh, uh, most important thing is function functioning endometrium is there or not is very important well if there is a functioning endometrium means if you do tvs yes, yeah. if you find that endometrium is growing along with the ovulation pattern every month It's then there is a possible operation, operation even with hypoplastic uterus that you can do anastomosis between you know uterus and neovagina but let me tell you there is a non functioning uterus and no communication and absent of service i think it's not worth trying are from sangli speaking mm -hmm. good afternoon sir uh, uh, yes uh, do you use uh, any sponge on the mold yes you can use it as i said what you can do is you can take 5 or 10 cc syringe you can apply sponge on it and then apply condom very simple so that will make your mold softer so you can take 5 cc 10 cc or 20 cc syringe apply a foam on it and then apply a condom every night and apply betadin and xylocin this is the different kind of mold you can prepare for her laparoscopic vaginoplasty tave kaho jo ema redo surgery na chances ketla ane ema result kewa mole aur So out of 18 cases that i am doing follow up nobody has required redo surgery that doesn't mean that i am right i am doing their follow up and i think year 2002 i have done a first case and i had a follow up of 7 years so up to 7 years i am doing follow up of these cases and i am very happy to convey you that excellent good results so still to establish the you know establish uh, technique can only be said by long follow up so i am waiting for 20 years and then i think we'll be continue doing follow up this patient every 2 years 1 year uh, just on phone that whether she is having normal sexual function or not so that we are doing but 7 years follow up is enough follow up to understand the reliability of this procedure